Hey, welcome to Spice and Rice. So today we're gonna to be talking about something that's a little bit different, but very relevant to the current environment. We're gonna be talking about the COVID vaccine. We live in the United States. There are currently two COVID vaccines out. Can you tell me about them? So the two vaccines out are the Pfizer and the Moderna. Pfizer, of course, is the company which came out with the vaccine the first in the US. And the other one was Moderna which was again a US company just like Pfizer that was approved I believe like a week to 10 days later. So those are the two vaccines available right now in the US. And they are both new technology, mRNA. We won't go into the details mostly because I don't know about the details. Um, but we chose to get the vaccine and we're gonna tell you why we chose to get the vaccine. Why don't you start first of why you chose to get the vaccine? For me it was a simple choice. Working at the front lines, so I don't really see COVID patients per se, but you know, you come in contact with so many people and uh, COVID itself can be asymptomatic in many people. So there is an exposure, of course. If there's something I could do to limit the chances for me getting an infection, of course I would do that. Now the counter side to that would be what are the side effects of the vaccine. Um, my counter argument to that would be we would not know the long term side effects for a long time and really we cannot wait for a long time. True, you know, the majority of the infections will be mild, but there's also a very small chance there could be a serious infection which could lead to, you know, respiratory failure. So for me, it was a simple choice. I had very concurring opinions, but mine was a little bit complicated because I'm still breastfeeding. So the CDC doesn't have any recommendations for breastfeeding nor pregnant women <laughs> for getting the COVID vaccine. There are currently some expert opinions but there's no research on it and there won't be research on it by the time I'm done breastfeeding. So given that I didn't know what the side effects of getting COVID are, at least for my body, and I didn't know what the side effect of getting COVID vaccine with breastfeeding, I decided because I do work in the front lines also and I do see COVID patients. I don't see COVID patients in the ER or the ICU, but I see stable COVID patients, meaning they've been diagnosed with it. They are having some symptoms like fevers and I need to address to see if there's an, any secondary infection going on. I did not want to catch COVID. I had my husband look up some research in terms of the animal studies and if the studies had any women who were inadvertently pregnant. So he did find some information about animal studies for Moderna and he found that several of the women in the Pfizer study actually inadvertently got the COVID vaccine despite being pregnant. Of course, when they found out they were pregnant, they were taken out of the study. So based on that, based on the fact that I do see stable COVID patients, I decided to get the COVID vaccine. Now tell me how your experience with getting the vaccine was, the first and the second shot. As is well known, the Pfizer vaccine is a two series shots, three weeks apart, as compared to the Moderna vaccine, which is four weeks apart. Um, we had the access to Pfizer vaccine, so we went for that. The Pfizer vaccine is well known, like the second shot is the one where you have more side effects compared to the first shot. For some reason, I just heard the first shot had a lot of side effects, body aches, chills, lack of energy, fatigue. I had to take a Tylenol, Crocin for that matter, and um, I think within 24 hours I was fine. So second shot was again not that bad either, apart from mild body aches. I had a few joint pains also, and again I had to take one dose of Tylenol and be, I was fine within 24 to 48 hours, I was fine. Tell me what was your experience? The first shot, I felt like it was like a normal flu vaccine for me, I had some sight pain, but the second shot really took me down. and. I woke up in the middle of the night feeling very feverish. The next day, by the way, I got it on a Tuesday and I work Wednesdays and Thursdays. So on Wednesdays, I was in fetal position because I was like so tired, having sores on my shoulders, arms, of course, very tender, just feeling uncomfortable. I was like, I should have not done that. I should have gotten it on Thursday, last day before the weekend. Now by Thursday, I was feeling much better, except for a little bit of sight tenderness. If you do get the Pfizer vaccine, definitely get it on a weekend. So I hope this gives you a little bit of information. I know there's so much information and certainly by no means is this a recommendation.
but I hope this provided you a, a little bit more input from our personal experiences with the COVID vaccine and why we chose to get it. For me, I was breastfeeding and still got it. For my husband, it was a simpler choice comparatively and of course right now we have these two vaccines and there are going to be a lot more vaccines coming out soon. Um, most importantly, we know about the AstraZeneca vaccine with the Oxford University is going to be manufactured in India also. You know, India probably is going to serve as a porting site for many, many countries. Johnson Johnson, you mentioned, is coming up with a vaccine soon too. Just and, one series. And the AstraZeneca vaccine, of course, again, is a four-week series. The Bharat Biotech, of course, that's another vaccine which was approved in India. Phase 3 trial is still pending. It by no means is a recommendation, it's a very personal choice. There's a lack of data. We know on the other hand, the virus can be dangerous. And phase three study means it's the last trial stage before it goes into the general public. The long-term benefits of this vaccine, we don't know. We don't know how long it'll last. And so there's still a lot of unknowns, but I'm sure as things progress, we'll get to know more information. So I hope this helped clarify just a little bit for you guys. Stay safe, bye.